All right, guys. So uh, it's about a week ago, maybe a week and a half since uh, the last part of the video there. Uh, yeah, basically, I just left this thing. I've done a bit of research. I uh, asked on a few groups and stuff and a few people on Facebook. And apparently the Philips is actually meant to do that corrupted screen when there's no cartridge installed. Uh, the cartridge actually like, completes the circuit of the memory. So without a cartridge, that scrambled screen that was seen was pretty is supposed to be pretty much standard. So <coughs> in the meantime, I got a game. Uh, it's called Pickaxe Pete uh, Video Pack 43. So it was like the cheapest one on eBay. It was like three quid plus postage. So, uh, I'm going to try this thing out here. Uh, I haven't touched this um, since the last part of the video, which was a week and a half ago or whatever. So, I'm going to stick this in and see what happens. I think that's the way it goes, Alan. There's like a, there's like a slot in the cart each other, so like a guide. If you put it in the wrong way, it just stops. Okay, sounded pretty good. Uh, let's see what happens. Well, lo and behold, <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Select the game. So now we get to see if the keyboard works. Uh, I don't even know what I should be pressing. Uh, pressing the numbers across the top. Press enter. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> there you are now. Pick eggs, Pete. Hey, uh, let's see if we get any response from these fucking joysticks. Let's zoom me back out again here. So I have named touched the joysticks, like the state of them. So I'm not sure even which one this should be using. Oh. That one doesn't do anything. I can try and get no response at all. I'll try this one. No. Nope. No, nope. joysticks are unresponsive. Uh, did he move there? Let's press some keys here and see if anything happens. At least the enter key works on the... Pressing L does something. See a big tape on at the bottom here. Is it like cheat code or something? <laughs> no idea. At least I can test the keyboard somewhat. Okay, W, E, R, and T didn't do anything. Yes, no. Changes that from a Y to an M. Equals. Yeah, well, some of the keyboard's working anyway. I don't know what all should be responding with the game. So, well, it, it works. Now I just need to turn my attention to the joysticks. Because I don't even know if I can do anything with these. Uh, we'll pop them open here and have a look inside. This one actually has a screw missing. There's one screw there and a screw missing from there. 
So somebody has had these apart already, but the look of it, there's two screws in that one. So we'll pop these open here and have a look and just see how bad they are inside. Um, I'm not sure if these are full analog or digital. Hopefully we can find that out when we open them. Okay, no on off switch, so we just have to yank the cartridge out. Okay, so it's quite a few days uh, later now. Um, I did record myself taking the joysticks apart, but I rambled on for about 20 minutes while I was taking them apart. Um, so I decided just to cut that part and uh, fast forward have quite a few days. Um, yes, yeah, so these joysticks are both dead. Uh, the circuit board in these is the same sort of material as the keyboard membrane. This is where the, the wire from the console connects on here. Um, I have previously peeled this open. So the way, the way these work is basically uh, contacts on one side and contacts on the other side. And when that sits back down and you move the joystick, this ring sits like that. When you move the joystick, it pushes on several parts and gives you your contact. Uh, but upon checking, um, there was no continuity at any of these points where it connects to the cable. So all the traces are broken. Um, this in the inside the joystick case this was sitting this position with the cable connected to it so it's broke right across all uh, six traces there and it's also broken at this bend where this folds over um, <clears throat> this is the earth so it's broke here so uh, I wasn't sure uh, what this was made of, so I actually tried soldering to it, which uh, wasn't a good idea, it just melted straight through it, which I knew was going to happen anyway, but I thought I would try it. Um, so I went as far as buying uh, this stuff, which basically allows you to paint on your own traces once it dries, it's conductive, but as you can see, I have yet to use it. Um, so I think I'm just going to scrap these controllers and go for go a different route. Um, basically, you know, if I ref if I fix this, it is likely to break again. Um, and another reason, uh, the buttons. This is the button for the fire button, basically. Um, which. If I can get all this crap out of here. Um, goes down through there. Through that hole. And there was a spring clip. The same as this. Which goes over the uh, button. It stops it come from coming back out the hole. So basically there's absolutely there's no spring or anything on that. So it just sits in that hole with that spring clip stopping it from coming out and presses down on the cable on the membrane when you press the button. So it's your uh, fire button here. So <laughs> that's the extent of the fire button. So there's no spring or anything, it just sits there. When you press it, it makes contact between the two parts of that. So yeah, I really not impressed with this setup here. Um, another thing that that spring clip that I showed you, which is now gone, the spring clip is actually off the main post of the joystick. The spring clip that was around this turned to dust when I tried to take it off. The, that one's quite rusty, but it's solid. The one that was around this button, as soon as I tried to put it off, it just crumbled into pieces. 
Um, that's maybe a piece of it there actually. Uh, so yeah, I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna uh, put a couple of joystick ports in the back of the console. Uh, standard nine pin Atari style um, joystick ports so that I can plug standard joysticks into it. So yeah, these are scrap. Um, even if we did fix them and got that button working, the the cover of the button is missing. You know when that sits down and like that, there was you know a, a plate sort of that went over that that made your fire button. So it's gone up from both joysticks. The other joystick doesn't have a button on it. This bit's completely missing out of it. So yeah, that's what I've decided to do. I'm just going to hot wire a couple of uh, joystick ports into this. It should be easy enough to do. Um, I just have to figure out the, the wires on the joystick and where the wires go for this. Um, basically, it's, f it's four directions and a fire button. So it's the same configuration on both types of joystick. So it'll not be too hard doing that. So that's it for this part. Uh, the console works, the game works, but the both the joysticks are dead. So that'll be the next part is uh, hot wiring some joysticks into it. Uh, yeah, I think that's the best bet. Uh, the chances of getting joysticks for this are pretty slim because they're hot wired or uh, you know hard wired, sorry, into the console. Uh, yeah, you're never going to find it unless it can pick up a, a dead console with good joysticks, you know, what's the chances of that? So I'm just going to put a couple of joystick ports into it and then I can use Atari joysticks or even a, you know, a Mega Drive controller with, it, with these. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.